like a bow. The first sign is, let's just say on online dating, right? The biggest sign that a woman is not into you, not the biggest one, but women do this a lot, is that you message them and they won't respond, but they'll like your message or they'll respond with an LOL. Guys, if you get that, just unmatch her. Just unmatch her. I know your ego feels angry and you sort of want to like get back at her. Just unmatch her, dude. She's just doing that to fuck with you. Like women do that shit. They'll just like your comment and won't even respond. Like when you ask them out, they'll like it, but they won't respond. Clearly, she's trying to fuck with you, man. Just unmatch. Just unmatch, man. It's not worth it. I know you feel angry, but just unmatch. The second one is trying to meet you halfway on the date. Guys, when a, when a woman says, can we meet halfway? Always say, oh, I'm not at home right now. I'm a little further. Can we meet near my area? Because I'm, I'm very far away and it won't be halfway. And if she still doesn't want to meet up, then you know what? She, she really is not that interested in you. You can meet her. Go ahead. I mean... Give it a try, right? I mean, but I'm telling you, like, usually when women do that, they're not that into you. She's trying to avoid having sex with you. So you have the option of meeting her and playing the slow game or doing what I do and just say, let's just do it some other time. Let's just do it some other time. Let me know when you're available. And because what I say, what I usually say is that I'm waiting for a package and I can't do, I'm waiting for a package all week and I can't leave my area, Right. I'm telling you guys, usually, they don't ask you out. They, they really don't. They're just not into you. They're just bored. You know what I'm saying? The next one is acting super unavailable. Saying that she's super busy, but let her know. Like, by saying, I'm super busy, but let me know some other time. Guys, when a woman is super busy, she's no goddamn ambassador of the United Nations. Just say, let me know when you're available, and then you stop pursuing her. Simple as that. The next one is talk, taking a while to respond. This is obvious, but we're not talking about two or three hours. We're talking about eight hours to respond. We're not, and also, if it's overnight, if she texts you in the morning, that's fine after you text her in the evening. But if she texts you the next afternoon, like you text her at 8 p.m. that night, and then she takes the whole morning and then the whole afternoon to respond, it's, it's a sign that it's passive interest, all right? So what you got to do is take as long to respond to her as well. But most of the time, they're really not interested. Uh, the next one is friends owning you. When you're on a date with her... And you try to go for the kiss. She might say, oh, I thought this was a friendship. Or she offers you the friendship. Guys, never accept that friendship. It never works out. It never fucking works out. All right? So friend zone him. No matter the circumstance. If a woman tries to friend zone you, I don't give a fuck about her excuse. She's not into you. The next one is giving you maybes and could. Like, maybe we could do it tomorrow. Guys, credit AMS. If she does, if she says maybe, just respond with a maybe question mark. Right? And let her respond to that. And if she says maybe, just be scheduled. Just say, hey, how about this? Let me know when, when your schedule clears up. Be polite. Be happy. Just say, hey, no problem. How about this? Let's just do it some other time. Hit me up when you're available. Clears up. Enjoy your evening. You know, that's how you do it. Right? Be passive aggressive. Be polite. Because a lot of women, they love it when, they, when you get butt hurt. As long as you stay polite and like a gentleman, you're good. But that doesn't mean that she's going she's gonna to hit you up. Really, honestly. Because she's acting like this because she doesn't like you. The next one is bringing a friend to a date. A girl did that to me once. She brought her cousin. You know what I did? I was like, oh my God, you brought your cousin? And she was like, yeah, this is my cousin. And I was like, oh man, you know what? This bar doesn't accept under 21 because she looked like she was 17. And then she was like, no, oh, she's 25. And I was like, fuck, in my head. But then I was like, you know what, man? I'd rather talk to you. I'd rather talk to you alone. How about we hang out some other time? And I left. And I was like, let's just do it some other time. I love, I bet your cousin's great, but I would love to see you some other time, all right? So just let me know when you're available, all right? And I left. I was polite. I wasn't mad. And that's the key is that you got to be polite. The next one is inviting you on the group date. That's another one. Inviting you to, you to hang out with her friends. People, that shit never works out. I remember one time a girl invited me over to her place. I met her parents. That shit doesn't work out, guys. And I never heard from her again. It just doesn't, all right? So if she invited you on a group date, fuck that shit, man. Just reschedule and say, hey, I want to see you first, and then we can hang out some other time. The next one is having f things to do after dinner, after your date. If she says, hey, it, it, if she says, hey, let's hang out, but I have something else to do afterwards, reschedule. 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 If she says, hey, can we do it at 6, and you say, well, you got... If she wants to reschedule, just say, well, you have something to do afterwards, if she says yes, reschedule. Reschedule. You know, because it, it, and if she's on a date with you and she tells you she has something to do afterwards and the date. Now, actually, don't end it. I, that's what I do sometimes. I end it. I say, you know what? You have something else, to do, something else to do. Let's just hit me up next time you're more available. I don't recommend that. That's a little too extreme. But that's what I do. The next one is canceling on the last minute. Canceling last minute, right? 
that is their biggest sign of disinterest, guys. If, she, if a woman cancels on you the last minute, I mean, yo, like, 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 as people, that's just completely disrespectful. And if that's the case, then you know what? Let her cancel. Be polite. But you know what? The next time she wants to hang out, always say, you know what? I'm a little tired. Why don't you come over and hang out? Why don't you come over and bring a bottle of wine and hang out? You know, Corey Wayne always is always always says that that advice is that when a woman flakes, when a woman and I credit him, when a woman flakes, be a little bit be more difficult for for next time. For example, I have a girl who who she's supposed to see me tonight, right? And then she's like, hey, let's meet halfway, and I'm like, nah, dude, I can't. I'm coming from this part, and it's gonna be further. It's gonna be further for me. And then she showed me another spot, which is a little closer, but kind of halfway. And I was like, nah, I can't. It's a little bit difficult, right? And then I was like, how about... And then she was like, can we meet later on tonight? And then I'm like, sure, but you have to come to my place. And then she was like, nice try. And then I was like, oh, really? In my mind, I'm like, oh, really? Now she's putting up the barrier, right? Right? And now she says, how about... How, can you meet me at this area? And I'm like, you know what, man? I'm a little tired right now. Like, I, you know what? How about we hang out? Let's just... How about we hang out at my place? And if you can, you could do some other time, Right? And she's like, oh, but I have practice Thursday evening. I'm like, oh, man, you know what, man? Let's just, we tried. Anyways, have a nice day. And she's going to text me? I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Guys, I know it doesn't look like it matters. But that halfway bullshit, it, it really is that she's just not, in, most of the time she's not that interested. Maybe she is, but it's halfway. But don't accept that. Don't accept that. All right, guys, so I want you guys to check out my online course called Dark Game. That's right, people, Dark Game. And this course is pretty much, I reveal to you the secret tactics, the secret techniques to create attraction in almost any woman, right? But not just attraction, attraction to the point that makes her want to see you all the time, where she's the one initiating all the contact, right? Now, now, just imagine to be able to keep all of the girls in your life that that you lost because of you because of your stupidity imagine and i had stupidity too imagine being able to keep them imagine being able to have five six women available to you wanting to see you imagine being able to create intense relationships where they're all doing all the work people that, that kind of stuff does exist people now, i'm not going to promise you to that you're going to ban like 40 50 women i'm going to promise you that you're going to be able to keep the women you have that you, you that you get with I can promise you that, that the keeping them will increase with this course. But let me keep showing you something. This course is pretty huge, people. It's a huge course. This course has over 50 videos, 50 videos, right? And some of them you can get for free. If you, if you just sign up, you, you get free videos, right? But in, in these videos, let me show you guys the, the, the course, right? All right, oh, guys. Shit. <laughs> That's me right there, right? In this video, I pretty much teach you guys how to find your purpose right? All this is how to find your purpose, discovering your purpose, right? I teach you guys then about female psychology, all of the principles about female psychology you guys need to understand. I then teach you guys the mindset, the, 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 the proper mindset that you need, that you guys need to deal with women. After that, I teach you guys 21 videos on out of game. I mean, pretty, this is just, it's pretty much unbelievable, man. I, I got to <laughs> make this available right but it's unbelievable how many i pretty much put everything out of game social circuit game strategies threesomes foursomes everything right and on top of that i give you guys a a, um, a few bonuses how to overcome approach anxiety why you can't take actions a dickens pattern to change your mentality how to go from open to transitions right 81 minute long people this is like i don't know how long this is but this is hours hours and i mean hours worth of content and you get a 30 day money back guarantee. I mean, you, you without questions asked. All for $99, people. People, this is originally, this could be this could be around a few thousand, to be honest with you, right? But you guys get it for $99, right? All you gotta do is just go over here, purchase the course, you know, and you'll get access to it. And if you don't like it, you could just message me and get and get your money back, people. Look, man, this is don't be hard headed, people. Don't be hard headed. If you this is the course that you guys need, right? It gives you guys everything. I cover everything. I could promise you, man, this is, you're not gonna get a more in-depth course on how to attract women and keep them more than this, all right? Anyways, people, check it out. 30-day money-back guarantee. There is no risk. 
and you can get the free course you get the free trial the free trial of these videos that you get for free right you guys could just sign up you could watch all of these videos for free right and there's no and you don't have to pay all right anyways i'll see you guys inside i run i want to see you guys inside because again people did you, you can't lose nothing there's a 30-day money back